Hello, boys and girls, my name is Hoxosty and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. At the end of the last episode, I asked you uh, what was wrong with uh, the, our cobble factory back there because it stopped working. And as I am recording this segment before uh, the episode actually went live. I have no ideas what you answered, but if you did and said, okay, there are a few too many blocks of these, your answer is correct. Because basically uh, there, behind this glass uh, pillar there we have obsidian and we should actually have lava uh, because that would mean that in the diagonal block uh, uh, where the lava and the water uh, connects there cobble touches uh, but without lava, no cobble. Without cobble, uh, basically uh, the thing breaks here where I have now placed uh, crying obsidian. So what I have to do today is build this farm anew. And because uh, the, the obsidian was not placed but generated I cannot mine this structure I can recycle most of it but I guess in the end we will be left over with an uh, obsidian ruin there and I think I will create the uh, other farm on the side of it and maybe add a bit more storage than one double chest because that fills up quite quickly so uh, let's see this is how it's supposed to look and by the looks of it you can also see uh, the uh, materials are a bit upgraded as compared to over here because now we have a bit more vari variety with the with the smooth stone slabs, the smooth stones, and uh, the stairs that uh, uh, distinguish uh, by the the color. And this time the obsidian is all placed in instead of generated like over there. So we can actually uh, create uh, or break up the farm if we have to. Uh, I have not tested this one out uh, and as you can see it's not assembled yet. Uh, so this is the moment of truth I guess. And then we will see if we get uh, some couple of things. Yeah, looking good, and we still have uh, uh, lava there. And I guess what went wrong with with the water there is farm was running. I moved either too far away or locked out, and. Uh, that's not a good thing to do if you have uh, moving pistons or at least moving pistons that have a slime attached to it. Um, okay. This does not go down there. Uh, we can we can there a sign up there in the middle and then a new water stream down there. I would assume that most of the cobble ends up here in this one. And not necessarily uh, it is also in here. Uh, 
below are getting filled because of course uh, there is more cobble coming in than uh, what can be distributed by factor speed. So I have been thinking uh, maybe I will do a bit uh, shorter episodes uh, which might lead to one more video per week. So instead of going into the next project, I will show you what I have been working on in the background without flying away too far. Just over here, that should be still good. And if not, uh, now we can fix that farm over there because if you look down here, you cannot see the bottom uh, we have to get a bit closer and there you see all bedrock so I cleared uh, this hole up uh, down to bedrock and we can move the slime farm all the way down and then we have to build up the, the walls here as well as I did over there but that's project for next time so hope you enjoyed this one and uh, join me next time goodbye